Let me just give you a real quick snapshot of what it is. First of all, it is when we gather together as a group of believers. Sometimes unbelievers come as well. We call it a house meeting because it started in houses, in living rooms. It's not always in a house. Sometimes we're in parks, we're in pavilions, we're in barns, we're in civic centers. Uh, sometimes we're in a mall, in a boutique, uh, and sometimes we're in churches. But in general, my desire is not just to bring and teach the Word of God, but I believe that Jesus was very intentional to not just teach, but also to demonstrate what does this look like. And so a house meeting is when we cultivate an atmosphere, an atmosphere through worship, through prayer, through the reading of the Word of God. A lot of times the Lord will bring a prophetic message. But basically where we want the Holy Spirit to begin to move and to manifest in the lives of the people there. So often a lot of times I end up uh, prophesying over people, ministering to people, uh, ministering healing, deliverance, really whatever the Lord is doing on that particular night. The idea is, again, to cultivate that atmosphere and give God room to manifest through the Holy Spirit and just begin to um, deliver his message in a very practical way, in a manifestational way, in a demonstrative way where people can see this is what the kingdom looks like. Again, I believe that's what Jesus modeled for us in Mark chapter 3, 4, 5, and 6, where he says, come and follow me. In chapter 4, he says, the kingdom of heaven is like this. In Mark chapter 5, he does demonstrations. He heals, or he delivers the man with the legion of demons. Uh, he heals the woman with the issue of blood, and Jairus' daughter is resurrected from the dead. And then in Mark chapter 6, he says, now go and do it. He lays hands on the disciples, and he says, now go and do it. And so my heart's desire in house meetings is to not just bring a word or teach the word, but to demonstrate the word, but also to teach and train through demonstration much like Jesus did so that everybody in the room doesn't just get filled up with the spirit or get a touch from God but they get empowered to go and do the same thing so in a very fast nutshell this is what a house meeting is uh, we practice liberty and sensitivity in other words you are free to respond to the Holy Spirit however you want and you're free we're sensitive to people who are like mm, I'm not really sure and I just want to sit here and kind of observe and kind of check it out and you're free to that as well we just want to give people freedom but also be sensitive to those um, where they're at in their relationship with the Lord so I would encourage you if there's a house meeting in your area uh, that you would come check it out and see what the Lord is up to